Hello, welcome back dear students. Today we are going to take up the second part of the chapter, chapter number 7, weather, climate and adaptations of animals to climate. In the last class we have discussed about weather. What are the factors that affect the weather? So today we are going to discuss about climate. What are the different factors that used to affect the climate? So first of all, let us take up climate. Climate is the average pattern of a change in the weather with respect to time. We have seen in case of weather, it is taken consider for a short duration of time. In case of climate, we are going to consider a long period of time. It may be six months or it may be one year. So in this period of time, what is the average pattern? What is the change in the condition of the weather? That will be considered as the climate of that place. The climate of a place is affected by certain factors. There are four main factors which used to affect the climate of a place. The first factor is the amount of rainfall that place receives. Second one is the amount of sunlight received by the place. Third one is the humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere. The amount of the humidity depends on how much amount of water vapor is released to the atmosphere by the plant as well as by the process of evaporation. Plants perform a particular process known as transpiration. During this process, the plant used to release water in the form of water vapor to the atmosphere, which used to control the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. The third and final factor which used to affect the climate of a place is whether the place is hilly or a plain area. So these are certain factors that used to affect the climate of an area. The climate of an area mainly depends on the amount of sunlight it obtains. The equatorial region used to receive more amount of sunlight as compared to the polar region. Due to their region, the equatorial area used to have a hotter climate as compared to that of the polar region. The amount of sunlight received by the different parts of the earth depends upon the amount and the position of the earth towards the sun. The equatorial region in that area, the sunlight coming from the sun used to get concentrated and fall in a greater amount. But the polar region used to obtain less amount of sunlight. Due to that region, the polar region used to have a colder climate as compared to that of the equatorial region. Now, let us come to the second topic of today's class, that is adaptation. Adaptation is the special features that are developed by the living organism to survive in the area where they are living. Generally, animals used to develop adaptation to survive in the habitat where they are found. But sometimes, animals also use to develop adaptation depending upon the climate of the place where they are surviving. On the earth, there are two places which used to have a very adverse climatic condition. They are equatorial region as well as the polar region. So in this topic, we are going to discuss about some of the adaptations developed by some common animals found in these two places. Let us take up the first animal, polar bear. The polar bear is an animal which used to live in the polar region where the temperature is very cold. In order to survive the cold temperature, the cold climate of that place, polar bear have two thick layers of fur. The fur that are present on the body of the polar bear used to have gap between them, which used to trap the air present in the atmosphere. This air acts as an insulator and doesn't allow the heat energy produced in their body to escape out. Because of that reason, this two layer of fur helps the polar bear to remain warm in that cold climatic area. Above the fur, they also used to have a thick layer of fat. The fat also is an insulator which helps in preventing the 
heat energy produced in your body to escape up to the atmosphere. With the help of these two thick layers of fur and a thick layer of fat, the polar bear are able to stay in that cold primitive region. Now let us come to the second point of adaptation developed or found in the polar bear. The polar bear have a white fur. The white fur of the polar bear helps in matching with the white background of the snow. Next adaptation found in polar bear is the color of the fur. The color of the fur of the polar bear is white, which used to help in matching with the white background of the snow. This helped them for the polar bear to not be easily, easily seen by their prey because of that they are able to go near to the prey and they can hunt the prey easily. The next adaptation found in the polar bear is a strong sense of smell. This strong sense of smell helps the polar bear to detect the deer its prey, even from a very far off distance. Because of that reason, they are able to hunt their prey easily. The next adaptation found in the polar bear is a wide and broad paw. The wide and broad paw helps in reducing the pressure of their body on the ice and the snow. Because of that reason, they are able to walk on the snow very easily without submerging inside the snow. Next point is, the polar bear are able to close their nose when they are swimming. Polar bear are good swimmers. When they are inside the water, they are able to close the nostril so that water will not be able to enter in their nose. Above this closing of nostril, the white pole also used to help the polar bear to swim easily inside the water when they are entering in the water for hunting the fish or prey. The next animal that we are going to discuss in this topic is penguin, which is one of the most common animals that is found in the polar region. Like polar bear, penguin also develops lots of adaptations in their body so that they, are, they can survive in the cold primitive region of the pole. The first adaptation feature that we are going to discuss about the penguin is the white fur. The white fur of the penguin merges nicely, properly with the white background of the snow, which helps them to escape from their predator. The predator will not be able to see the penguin or identify or notice the penguin easily because of the white background which used to merge with the body of their body. Second point is the layer of fat that is present on their body. In order to survive in the cold climatic region, the penguin used to have a layer of fat. The fat is an insulator of heat, which prevents the heat energy from their body to escape out to the surrounding. This helps their body to remain warm even if they are staying in the cold climatic area. The next adaptive feature that is present inside the penguin or in the body of the penguin is the web feet. The web feet used to help the penguin to swim easily in water. We know that penguin is a good swimmer. This swimming is being able to make possible by the help of this web feet. If the wet fit is not present, the penguin will not be able to swim nicely in water. The last adaptive feature that is present in penguin that we are going to discuss in today's class is the streamlined body. Streamlined body is a special structure or shape of a body which used to have a pointed tip. The body of the penguin used to have this streamlined body. Because of this region, the penguin are able to cut through the water and house in swimming. The streamlined body reduces the friction of water. Because of that, they are able to swim easily in water. Now, let us see the next topic for today's class. There is the other adaptations that are found in other animals which are living in the cold area, cold climatic area. Almost all the animals that are present in the cold climatic area used to have thick fur as well as used to have a layer of fat in order to prevent the heat energy to escape out from their body. Above this, different other animals used to develop different other types of adaptation. One common adaptation that is found in some of the animals as well as birds that are living in a cold 
climate area is migration. Migration is the adaptation found or adapted by different types of birds that are living in the cold climate area. Migration actually is the mass movement or the movement in large number performed by a particular species of animals or bird from a cold climate area to a warm climate area. In order to escape the adverse cold climate condition that is found in the winter season at that place. This migration is generally developed by those type of animals in order to escape from the cold climate in order to search for food in the warmer places as well as for laying eggs. The migration is performed by the animals and the birds that are present in the cold climatic area mainly. Some of the examples of the migratory bird or the bird which used to perform this migration or develop this migration adaptation is the Siberian crane. Siberia is a place near the polar region. It used to have a very cold climate during the winter. In order to escape from this cold climate found in that place, the Siberian crane used to migrate to the place which are present near to the equator where there is a somewhat warmer climate in the winter season. The another adaptation that is found in some of the animals living in the cold climate is hibernation. Hibernation actually it is a long sleep that has been performed by some of the animals during the winter season. When the temperature drops down during the winter season, these animals used to go for sleeping. During this time, their body, per body activity reduces. Because of the reduction in the body activity performed by their body, they need less amount of food. Some other animals used to store their food in their shelter, while some other animals used to consume food more in a more amount during the summer season and they used to go for hibernation. As there is less requirement of energy as their body is not moving, their body does not need much amount of energy. So they utilize the fat layer or the fat that is stored in their body during the hibernation period. So up to here, we are going to study in today's class. In the next class, we are going to discuss about the adaptations that are found in the animals which are present in the tropical region near to the equator. Thank you.